Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you are doing good. But wait a minute, I'm talking to you, the student just behind the screen. How are you? I hope you are doing good, active, and feeling energetic right now. So before we start our today's session, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Hisham Chauhan, a science and biology tutor. I have done bachelor's of science in medical from a college of Punjab University, Chandigarh, and then. After cracking the entrance examination of my dream university, I am doing Masters of Science in Botany from University of Pune in Maharashtra. I started teaching from the very first year of my college. And since then, I have been mentoring the students like you who have this ambition to take admission in the topmost universities and institutions across India, like NITs, IITs and AIMS. So now you will say, why you started teaching sir because teaching is my passion but why teaching is your passion sir for that i would like to tell you a story from all the primary classes of my school i was considered as a poor or a weak student and i used to think that i will never be able to achieve anything in my life but then a miracle happened you know what that miracle was some teachers some good teachers who focused on me, who taught me, who guided me throughout my journey. And then when I started achieving, my confidence was boosted. So now I think it's my responsibility to focus, to teach, to guide, to mentor all those students who have this ambition to do something great in their life. My goal is clear. It is to provide top quality education to all the students in every corner of the country and to make learning an enjoyable task. And to reach this goal, I have started online teaching. So, abhi yahan tak pahunch hi chuke hain. So, let's learn something new today. Let's open our books and notebooks. In the previous session, we have studied the structure of a cell. In this session, we are going to study about the differences between a plant cell and the animal cell. So, before I tell you the differences, can you observe? What are the visible differences between a plant cell and animal cells? Take a minute and tell me. Okay. In the plant cells, we can observe this large structure right here, which covers the maximum part of a cell. This is what we call a vacuole. What, what is the function of vacuole? It's actually a storehouse of a cell. Whereas in the case of animal cells, the vacuole is small. And due to this vacuole, the, in the case of plant cells, the nucleus is on one side. Whereas in the case of animal cells, the nucleus is a bit in the center. What is the next difference? There is a thick wall around plant cell which is what we call a cell wall which is absent in the animal cells okay what else we can observe these tiny little structures in the plant cells which we call plasters for example chloroplasts which gives plants a specific green color and helps the plants to synthesize their nutrition by the process of photosynthesis, which are not there in the animal cells. So, what did we learn in today's class? Let us write down on our notebook. Yes, you actually have to write it down on your notebook. So, pick your pen and paper and write it down. Make this chart. What about the size? The size was a bit larger in the plant cells and generally in the animal cells the size is smaller okay we could observe the uh, the presence of cell wall in the plant cells and which was absent in the animal cells vacuole vacuole was one in the plant cells and it was large Okay, and in the case of animal cells, it were there were many 
vacuoles but small all right now due to this presence of one large vacuole in the plant cells the nucleus was on one side on the side you can write it on the side and in the case of animal cells the nucleus is in the center okay now plastids were present in the plant cells and absent in the animal cells now due to this presence of plastids in the plant cells plant cells can synthesize their nutrition which we animals can't and the last cell wall it was present in which cell animal or plant yes cell wall is present in the plant cells which is absent in the animal cells i hope you really enjoyed the class we'll meet in the next sessions like these and till then a very happy learning have a great day